James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is August 28th, 2022, 3.30 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we talked about a possible formation near the Yucatan Peninsula in yesterday's hurricane update, and they are giving that area a 20% chance of formation now. We have a strange area in the center of the Atlantic moving south with only a 10% chance of formation. Uh, a larger area of rain, which I will show you, with only a 20% chance of formation, maybe because it's going to be caught up in some sand. However, they're giving this storm here a 70% chance of formation, and I'm going to show you that it's going to go into the east coast, I believe on the 5th or 6th, maybe the 7th, but we will take a look. Over to my Fox Hurricane, pretty much shows you what I'm talking about. Large formation here. We will see that there's a large sandstorm also coming off the African continent that's going to squash that. Uh, out in front here, a 70% chance of formation in the next five days. That will probably be 90 to 100% very shortly. And we have two other areas that we're watching. A lot of moisture is developing near the Yucatan Peninsula. A lot of models have this jumping over into the Pacific, whereas some models have it jumping into the Gulf of Mexico. The main system has already been named Invest91L low. The initial models that have already been worked up for Invest91L bring it north of most of the Caribbean into the east coast. And I'm going to show you exactly where these spaghetti models actually terminate before landfall. Over to Enhanced Satellite. You can see that this is the main system, believe it or not, Invest 91L. And this is the system that I said was coming off the continent of Africa, but may be overwhelmed by the sandstorm also coming off the continent at this time. It does look like a much stronger disturbance, although they're only giving it a 20% chance of formation, whereas this has a 70% chance of formation. And it looks like we're going to have some stuff form just below Jamaica, uh, just south of the Yucatan Peninsula, just as we suspected. All right, good news for Texas. Looks like we're about to get wet, folks. Uh, this is what's happening in real time here, and we are close to contact. Looks like this disturbance that's already in the Gulf of Mexico is strengthening and appears like it might bring a lot of rain to Texas and Louisiana, which I know both desperately need rain, whereas Florida really does not need rain. We have a lot of convection there as well. Now, Wendy turns Invest 91L into a hurricane, and it makes landfall perhaps on Wednesday the 7th. Yes, that's a long time out. It might speed up. Uh, let's see if we can find it a little bit faster wind. Very distinct eye, but of course this is just a forecast. You can also see that they have forecasted that the storm jumped over into the Pacific that we were focused on south of the Yucatan currently. So we don't know if this is going to happen or something else because this is several days into the future. But when you feel sorry for yourself looking at this powerful strong storm that's going to hit the east coast somewhere remember oh it looks like it's going to hit the bahamas as well just remember the entire southern part of this globe is on fire with storms cyclones it's unbelievable god bless you and yours please share it please subscribe always remember that anything is possible in bizarro world